yeah. what are you doing here at the Asian Games? Uh, are you excited for the opening ceremonies? Yes, yes, absolutely. Are you part of Team China? No, no, no. Are you a volunteer here? No, I'm staff. Staff. What do you do? Uh, country and uh, area flag. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. Mm. Is everything ready? Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you so well, much. Ready. Thank you so much for your time. Hey, everyone, we just met a member of the staff here at the 19th Asian Games, Hangzhou. And we asked him a couple questions, and he is responsible for, or part of the team that is responsible for, making sure that the flags. Uh, are deployed properly. There are 45 countries coming, so I imagine it's actually quite a challenging job. Hey everyone, my name is Jason Smith. And I am the host of the Bridge Podcast. I've just arrived in Hangzhou, and I just want you to know I don't have any special passes or anything like that. I've just bought tickets to the games, to some of the games. And, but when we were picked up at the airport, they put us in this really special cab, and they have a whole fleet of them for taking people who are coming here to see the Asian Games here in Hangzhou, the Hangzhou Asian Games, the 19th Asian Games. Look at this vehicle. It's an electronic Geely, which is a, I believe it's a Chinese made electronic vehicle, but they're totally posh. We're only two people, but it feels like we're in a limousine. I, you've got to see this from the outside. This could be another seat, more seats, another seat. This whole thing could be filled with people. I guess five people back here, six if me, between me and my amazing cameraman. Everyone, we just checked into the hotel and we're gonna go and see the uh, expo. We're gonna go see the exposition center to see if we can get, how close we can get without passes. There may be a big fence around it or we may be able to go right up to the building. So we're gonna go check it out. We're in the subway and they have art devoted to the Olympic Games. So there's actually some of these things we're going to be seeing, like over here. Shooting is part of the pentathlon. So they've actually decorated the subway here in honor of the Asian Games. hotel we needed to take line two because I didn't want to transfer a lot now that we've gotten out at Qingling Lu we need to walk south so we're gonna walk south for about five to ten minutes before we get to the arena you know there's a little river and a big river and I crossed the little river and got off of the subway turns out I wasn't go I didn't go far enough so now we're just in a taxi <laughs> boys and girls Behind me, in the distance, we can see the edge of the arena, the main arena. So, we're gonna play a game. How close can we get before, without passes, we can't get any closer? Maybe we can go right in, we'll see. All right, behind me and across the river Yangtze, you can see a lot of downtown. Hangzhou. And over here, on this side of the river, you can see a lot of downtown. And behind me over here, in all of these beautiful and well-lit places, are several of the arenas, several of the coliseums that the 19th Asian Games will uh, be taking place in. Although there are 20 to 30 venues spread out all over the city, some of which we're going to see in a couple of days. But you can see the preparations for the Asian Games are already ongoing. All of this has been incredibly beautified. Uh, there are lots of volunteers from, from this city and from all over China here to make sure that this is a spectacular Asian Games. Uh, 45 countries will be taking place in the Asian Games this year in Hangzhou. Some of the uh, facilities here. So we're in a good vantage, we can see in the distance behind me, the very large blue lotus building is the main hall. And that is where the opening ceremonies are gonna take place, which is probably what most people are really excited about. And then inside, they're going to have football. Now over here, there's another stadium, and this stadium is called the gymnasium. So in the gymnasium, they're going to have other sporting events, including basketball. The spectator's entrance here at Ehaumer, 8 gate. 
this gate is where the spectators who are coming to actually watch the sports are going to enter when it opens in a couple of days. So in summation, we came from Beijing. We flew to Hangzhou. My first time being in Hangzhou, by the way. Beautiful city. Uh, you know what's really interesting? A lot of the cities in China, you never heard of them at all. I've heard of Hangzhou, of course, but maybe people outside of China haven't. Just amazing. You know, you go to 20 cities, they're some of the most modern, amazing cities you've ever been to. And what's really great about Hangzhou's Asian Games is the venues are spectacular. We got to talk to some people, we got to see the preparations, and we're actually a few days early. And now we're going to take you around the city and show you the rest of Hangzhou.